Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan your way to calm and plan a calmer life. Now in this video, I heard you, I heard you my beautiful people. Uh, I actually posted a, a video not too long ago uh, talking about stuff I regret buying and my goodness, you folks, ate it up and I want to thank you so much for all those who viewed, liked and commented on my Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, hit me up there. Uh, I got a lot of requests to do another one of those videos and I'm here to oblige you folks <laughs> because if anything, if 2023 has taught me anything is that one, FOMO is real <laughs> and two, um, just because I'm passionate about something doesn't need doesn't mean I need to go overboard and buy all the things. So these are the things I regret buying, stuff I regret buying part two, um, showing you um, all the things that I wish I did not waste my money on. Now, I want to put out this disclaimer and s let you folks know that this is things that I regret buying. It's not things that you should not buy, okay? Just making that clear. So the first thing, I want to showcase are these uh, Le Pen pens from Marvy. Now, I don't get me wrong, folks. I love me a good pen, but for the price of these pens, I I regret buying them. Um, I, it came in the pack, and to be honest, I haven't touched any one of these. Um, except maybe the blue one, but the black one is the one that I use the most, or I, I try to use the most. But to be honest with you folks, um, as much as I love them, they were just too expensive. So in the pen department, uh, I love Papermate. Don't get me wrong. I love a good Papermate pen, but these pens in particular, the Papermate Inkjoy, just the standard Inkjoy pens, don't work for most of the planners that I use this year. So my Hobonichis, my Hobonichi Weeks, and so on. Um, I just the pen ink is just too light to show up on the paper and it just it just wasn't a good vibe and I just find that I really like a juicy ink. I like a juicy highlighter, I like a juicy ink pen and some of these, you know, run of the mill standard pens as practical as they are don't do the job I need them to do for my planning needs. So, I'm going to say no on that one. Definitely a waste. Wasn't terribly expensive, but I just won't waste my time buying pens that I don't absolutely love. This is going to be a surprising one. This is going to be surprising. This is my Zebra Saraza pen. Now, <laughs> I love this pen. It is a beautiful pen and I love it so much. I used it a lot and <laughs> it didn't last long. Um, now when I go to use it, I get a lot of skipped lines and just it, it didn't hold up. And I think for the price I paid for this, um, I was hoping that it would last longer. Maybe I'm not using it the way I should, but I just think for the price I paid for this pen, it should have lasted longer. I know I do a lot of writing, but it should have lasted longer than that. I should like, yeah. But when it did work, it was beautiful. But I am not a fan of those generic packs of Amazon stickers that you get on Amazon. When I first saw them, when I got into planning, I was like, oh, slow your roll, girl. I'm gonna get me some stickers and have a good old sticker time. Well, these stickers, are uninspiring. I found that I didn't use these stickers because to be honest, I just, maybe they're too ut utilitarian or something, but the sticky, the sticky factor on them isn't great. So when I did go to use them, they just didn't stick well. And so I bought so much of these stickers. <laughs> I ended up giving them to my students and stuff because I just found that they weren't they weren't working for my planner needs. It doesn't mean that they're not good, it's just that they didn't work for me. Another thing that I regret buying, oh my gosh, don't come for me in the comments, y'all, but happy planner stickers. Now, here's the thing, folks. I love me some happy planner. This is no shade against HP at all. However, here where I live in Canada, things tend to be a lot more expensive than they are in the States. And if I told you how much money I spent on these planner, on these happy planner sticker books, you would, yeah, you would think I'm crazy. <sighs> so <laughs> my big regret this year was investing because these were an investment 
and so many Happy Planner stickers. Now, what I would do if you want to get some Happy Planner stickers, I smartened up midway year and looked for used sticker books online and that saved me tons of money. But what I regret buying are these sticker books at full price. And at Michael's where I generally get them from, um, even on Amazon, like they're the, the cheapest you can get is $30 when you factor in the taxes based on the province that I live in. And $30 for a sticker book that I find that I rarely reach for these stickers. I don't know what it is. I just, I've rarely reached for these stickers. I love them. I'm not throwing these out. I'm not giving them away or anything because I know I'll come back to them. Comment down below and let me know if this has happened to you where you've kind of I don't want to say outgrown them because I haven't outgrown them, but I've just been uninspired by them. And so, again, I love my Happy Planner Planner sticker books, but I regret buying so many at the price I, I paid for them. Another thing I regret buying this year, and I bought this at the beginning of the year, and it's kind of dirty, I apologize, but it is the Five Minute Journal. Now, the Five Minute Journal, it was all the rage years ago. And because it was all the rage, I thought I had to have it this year because this was the year I was going to get my life together. And I got bored out of it like right quick. I think by like the third week, I'm like, OK, I, I can't write in this book anymore because it feels like I'm just repeating myself and it doesn't give me an opportunity to express. Like sometimes I just want to journal and write things down and I felt like I couldn't. I felt that my teacher brain was telling me I had to use it in a certain way and there was no flexibility. And so I just got bored with it and I didn't, I just stopped using it. And um, I, I'm trying to pick it up and, and get going with it again, but I'm just so uninspired. Again, why is it so dirty? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I will not waste my money buying this book again. And I'm just, you know, yeah, I, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> the last regret this year has been this planner. Now, again, I know there's a lot of EC lovers out there, y'all. I am one of them. What I'm saying is I do regret buying this teacher planner this year. Um, if you're wondering, this is the EC teacher planner and the soft bound. It is a beautiful planner. I made a video about it. I was so excited to use it, but it was completely impractical for me um, and my teacher needs. Um, the spacing, uh, I'm a high school teacher and just the nature of our, oh, just the nature of our schedule didn't lend itself to this, but you have an eight day cycle, you know, like it just, th there was too much going on for me to make sense of this. And I just found that I just, you know, I tried and tried and tried and tried and I couldn't make it work, couldn't make it work. Um, I, I hopped in and out of it a couple times and, you know, I think it was like November, I got back into it and I, I did a spread with it and I'm like, okay, okay, I can try to make it work. I can try to make it work. But when things got really, really busy and when things were, you know, picking up and just getting nuts, I, I didn't have enough room to write all the things that I needed to write. This was a light week. To be honest with you, this was a light week this week, um, but most weeks are not like this. And I just found I didn't have enough room and space. And then I was cramming everything in here. I would show you my finished pages, um, but it has personal things on there with students and stuff and I can't. I'm so sorry. I regret <laughs> getting a teacher planner because one of the things I'm realizing is that I do a lot of things digitally with my teaching. And I think I need to look into digital planning for teaching. Comment down below if you're a digital planner. If you do digital planning, I would love to know what you use and all that stuff because I think um, having a teacher planner, which I love and I've used and it's great, um, I just think I need a digital option. Um, so there you have it, folks. This is all the things that I regret buying this year. Not actually, not all. There's, there's still more things. I got like a whole closet full of stuff I don't use right now. <sighs> then I am ashamed to say that I have regret buying. Um, and you know, the moral of the story that I keep telling myself is that planning, like most things in life, is a learning process. And I don't always get it right the first time. It's trial and error. It's seeing what works and what doesn't. And you know, I have to give myself grace when 
you know, I do things like this. And, you know, one of the things I'm realizing now is that I'm taking stock and saying, okay, I did this, I made a mistake, but let's not do it again. Let's make smarter choices. Let's save some money. Let's not fall into FOMO and do what works for me, Kat. And that's what's going to bring me calm and peace. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for your views, for your likes, for your love, for subscribing, for your requests. If you have any video requests, please um, shoot me a message in Instagram. Please follow along. Thank you so, so much for watching. Until the next video, my beautiful friends, take care, be well, be blessed. And I'll see you all in the next planner video. Bye-bye, planner peeps. Baby, you give me eyes and fire You're giving me wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me fear, Dinah You whip up my appetite